Um, in heavy hay, it does a lot more. You know, it can bale a lot more bales per hour in heavy hay, and it doesn't seem to buck as bad as the 4910s from the weight, you know, but when the rough fields. And it seems like it's smoother running and quieter. The knotters stay clean it's because of the, the blower on it. And I haven't had no problems with it yet, so I don't know what. I think the bales are heavier because they get more flakes in them from the old bales because the plunger speed's a bit faster, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know about the quality of them. They're harder, so they're heavier, and the dairymen were saying that the straw bales were harder, so they seem to like them. It's the quality better. It seems like it picks the hay up softer and doesn't knock all the leaves off when it picks. When the hay's dry, it doesn't knock as many leaves off on the pickup, but we're going about two miles an hour faster with this one in the heavier hay and uh, than the 4910, and it seems to pick up the hay a little better at high speeds and doesn't knock as many leaves off. Yeah, we keep track of every field and every cus every job of every customer and you know field and customer and we keep track of everything on it so that works real good. Um, it's, it's nice to know that it's how how many plunger loads it makes before it takes a, f a flake into the bale and it keeps track of the, how many flakes was in the bale before and there's it's quite a bit better than the old monitor. It's a lot better. There's a lot less service on it than the older ones. The packer crank and stuff, you only grease that about a tenth as much as you used to do the old ones, and it holds more twine, and it's a big improvement. Well, when you want to get up and check something out, you can flip the switch over there, and it lights up the knotters real good, or if you have to restring something underneath, you can flip the other switch, and it'll light up where the needles are, and it lights it up good underneath. When you open the doors, you can see all your twine and stuff at night, because the lights under the doors work good, and it's just makes it better when you can see better. Yeah, it, it feeds in a lot better. That dual auger makes it feed a lot better in the heavier hay, and I think maybe that's why it doesn't knock so many leaves off. It's a little gentler on it than the old ones. But uh, that's, the pickup teeth are a little bit closer together. That helps, I think, pick up the lighter hay, too. So it's, the pickup's one of the biggest improvements, I think. It goes great. Every time we have a problem, we call AgriService, and they show right up and get it taken care of. And the, the service, we do most of all of our own service unless there's a big problem, so. And it's easy to service. All the shields make it accessible to get to, and it's a piece of cake. Yeah, it was a good experience. We bought all the bathers we've ever had from them, and they've all worked good so far.